I'm Lisa Bloom. And I'm Sarah Bloom. And we are both attorneys at The Bloom Firm, and we fight for victims of discrimination, harassment, and abuse. And today, Sarah, I think you want to talk about discrimination against Asian Americans during the coronavirus crisis. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about um, how big the problem is of Asian American discrimination right now, what the definition of Asian American discrimination is in the workplace, and what to do if you're a victim of uh, discrimination in the workplace. So, you know, we hear about this in the news, and it's just awful. How significant is this problem right now? It's, it's huge. So Asian American discrimination has skyrocketed during the coronavirus epidemic. And this is really, I think, primarily, first and foremost, fueled by Trump calling the coronavirus the Chinese virus. It's really starting at the top with our president basically promoting racism and giving people the green light to attack Asian Americans. You know, Asian Americans are having their homes vandalized. They're being attacked on the streets. You know, there was a report of a woman in New York uh, where someone grabbed her hair, punched her in the face, oh. asked her, where's your bleeping mask, and said, you've got coronavirus, you Asian bleep. She says she was a victim of a bias attack. A woman who's Asian says she was punched by another woman in midtown Manhattan, and she accused her of having the COVID-19 virus before she got hit. So this is really a huge problem. You know, it's so big, the FBI has issued a warning that hate crimes against Asian Americans are likely to surge and Asian American communities are really at risk. Oh. And, you know, as a Asian American myself, I'm half Chinese, this problem really hits close to home. Oh, it's so disgusting, you know, in the middle of this crisis that we're all dealing with, that Asian Americans should have this extra layer of struggle and worry. So, you know, we mostly represent employees in workplace disputes. What does this mean for Asian American workers? Right. So we've also seen an uptick of Asian Americans being discriminated in the workplace. You know, as a reminder, race discrimination is still illegal, even during the coronavirus epidemic, obviously. Right. Um, so... Uh, the definition of race discrimination is employers cannot treat employees differently because they are of a certain race. So this can be seen as treating people differently, such as firing them because they're Asian American, decreasing their pay, you know, taking away job assignments. But this can also be harassment. And we mostly see this as verbal harassment, people saying derogatory remarks about Asian Americans, um, or this can even be offensive signs at the office. Okay, so if I'm an Asian American worker and I'm being harassed or discriminated against, what should I do? The first thing you should do is you should co complain in writing to human resources. And in the complaint in writing, you should use the words discrimination or harassment. And it's really important to put this in writing because it, pu it puts your employer on notice that you're being discriminated against. Hopefully your employer will do the right thing and take an action to protect you launch a prompt and thorough investigation and discipline the perpetrator. But if your employer does not do the right thing, you now have a crucial piece of evidence to take to a lawyer. And also this complaint in writing protects you from retaliation. So after you file a complaint in writing, your employer cannot retaliate against you by firing you, demoting you, or taking any kind of adverse employment action. So if you complain in writing and your situation does not improve, or especially if you're fired, you should contact a lawyer immediately. You know, the law has very specific time limits in which you can file your case. They can be as short as six months in certain cases. So when in doubt, you should contact a lawyer. Um, and, you know, we're always happy to talk to you and review your case. We're working from home, but we're fully operational. Thanks, everyone. Until next time and stay safe. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, everybody.